Hello, welcome to lesson 24, Properties in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anglo Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is property. And right now, I will jump into a slide where I am having a piece of program. Here you can observe public class student. I am having a class called student and I am having three fields in it. For a, three fields, namely ID, name and pass mark. You can observe all the three fields are public in nature. Right now, we will jump into the previous slide and we'll learn what is the disadvantage of making the fields public and making the class fields public and exposing to the external world is bad because we'll not come to know what gets assigned to it and what gets written from that and the problems with public fields are id should always be a non-negative number but in this case what i've done is i've set id to a negative number this should not happen it, it's against the business rule so we should not set an ID to negative number since it is public we are able to set it, set it to negative and coming back to the previous slide you can observe here name cannot set be null net set to be null but here I have set the name to be null because the field is public and this is the problem we should not make the fields public and it's all against the business rules and coming back again if student name is missing no name should be returned but when I run this program, this piece of code, what I'll get is I'll get a empty, empty, empty space instead of uh, uh, telling a user as no name, but I'll get it as empty. That is the problem with the public field. And pass mark should be read only, but here I'm trying to set the pass mark value also that should not happen. That is the problem with the fields which you are making public here. And how to overcome this? How to encapsulate this? So we use getter and setter methods. In the previous session, we learned polymorphism and inheritance. Right now, we'll learn another key pillar of object-oriented programming, that is encapsulation. And keep in mind, programming languages that does not have properties use getter and setter methods to encapsulate and protect fields. But in C Sharp, we have properties. We'll see the C Sharp properties in the coming session. Right now, we'll learn the languages which do not have properties and how do how do they encapsulate and protect their fields. For and encapsulation is one of the primary pillar of object oriented programming, which helps you to protect and encapsulate your field. Right now, we'll jump into the slide. Here you can see I'm having a class student, but here you can observe I've made all the three fields that is ID, name, and pass mark as private. Since they are pri private, they cannot easily accessible to the external world. And how do I set the value to them and how do I get back the value from them? It's very simple. Uh, the languages which do not have properties, they'll use the getter and setter methods to set the value to it and get back the value from that. So here I'm using public void set ID to set the value to that field and pub public int get id to get the value from it and right now to understand it very clearly we'll jump into visual studio and explore it now we can observe here when i make the fields as public okay that is id name and pass mark and i'm setting it to negative value id and name i'm setting it to null and pass mark i'm initializing it to zero which should not happen and these things are all against the business rules now, when I run this program, you can observe the ID will be non-negative, will be a negative number, and the name it does not return anything since it is null. You can observe your ID is one not one, and the name it's it's empty space. This should not happen, and this will confuse the user. Uh, in other in other case, it should return telling that no name, but here it's not doing that. How to how to set this? Will We'll do this using the getter and setter methods. And pass mark, since pass mark should be read only property, but here what I'm trying to do here is I'm setting the value for pass mark also, which should not happen. So it's printing zero. Now, how to use getter and setter methods? It's very simple. I'm having a program for that. So it does a project. Since multiple projects are there, I want to run the particular project, then I have to use a right click and set it as startup project. Now, here in this program, you can observe, I have made all the three fields as private. Since they are private, they are not easily accessible to the external world. So what I have to do, I have to use the getter and setter property to set the value to them and get the value back from them. Here, I have done it for ID. You can observe here, I'm using a set ID, how to set the value to ID field. It's very simple, public void set ID 
and the parameter I'm taking integer type id the variable is id and I'm verifying it if id is less than or equal to zero throw in my exception telling that student id can't be negative id should always be greater than or equal to greater than zero and if it is greater than zero then return the value to this id this value to this id okay to this field the whatever the value comes here it should be returned to this field and once i'm setting the field how to get back it it's very simple public i'm having another method called get id and return type is integer it's very once we have said it's very easy to get back the value i'm using return keyword it's returning integer type and this dot this value from here i'm getting the value from this field similarly now i'll show how to use get and set methods for name name field how do, how do i do it it's very simple public void set name string name and i'll check it whether if string dot is null or empty if it is null or empty if it is null or empty to pass that value variable name throw my exception telling that throw new exception sorry exception telling that student name cannot be empty or return no name okay return no name and sorry or you can you should tell that student name is not empty if it is if, if it has a value a value for name then it should return that name how do i return it's simple this dot name is equal to this name okay now i done it for setting the name how do i get back it's very simple uh, public what's it running string value then get name get name it should return that value so return this dot name now can observe here i have used getter and setter methods to set a value to a name and get back the value from that name now the other field left is pass mark since pass mark already a value set it should be a read only property read only field then how to out now in this field we can only read it so i have to i have to use only get method not the set method since the value is already set it there is no need of using the set method and it, it since it is a read only property read only field then i have to use read only get only method so public int get pass mark return this dot pass mark now we can observe my fields are private and i'm using the getter and setter methods to set the values to them and get back the values to them once i'm done with this what i'll do i'll just create a object of it and i'll check it whether these methods what i've created are working or not now i'll come here and the object is stu do it student c1 is equal to new student now c1 dot set id i'll set the id to 101 since set id is a method i would use this brackets 
then I have to use this one okay I'm setting a value for now I want to set a value to name set name and pro technologies then I can't set a value to pass mark because the value already set since it is only a read only field I should not set value to it I should just call the just call that method to see the output then how do I do it now I want to see the value of ID then I have to use like the c1 dot get ID before that what I'll do is I'll just enable some string Similarly, I'll use the I'll copy this to save time. Okay, this is for name, and this I have to erase, and I have to use get name. Okay, once I'm done with this, then I have to check the pass mark. even dot pass mark get pass mark yes this is the field now I'm done with the program I'm what I'm what I've done is I've I'm having a three private fields and I'm using getter and setter methods to set the values to them and get val get back values to them now I've created an object of the class now I'm setting values here and getting the getting back the values here now when I run this program it should work fine Yes, you can observe here the ID is 101 and name and pro technologies and pass mark is 35. Now what I'll do is I'll just play a trick. Uh, I'll just put it as negative 101. We'll see what, what's going to happen. Control F5. See, it's telling that student ID can't be negative. It throw an exception because you can't set an ID to negative. So it, it just throw an exception telling that student ID can't be negative. Similarly, you can check in for set name if you give it as null it will throw a message telling that student cannot name cannot be empty and this is about the proper getter and setter methods where programming languages that does not have properties use getter and setter methods in this way to encapsulate and protect, protect fields but in c sharp they have properties we'll see how c sharp properties um, encapsulate or protect fields in the coming session Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Ankpro Training below.